Hey there rockers! Eric Andreas with your Guitar Sage and today we're going to learn Jar of Hearts by Christine Perry. Yeah, big smile for such a sad song. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but um, I'm happy even, even through this very sad song. I'm gonna play this song for you. I'm gonna play, you know, verse, chorus, bridge. Um, I won't play through everything more than once probably. Um, but I'm gonna show it to you. Um, some of the concepts and what have you that I'm talking about today are, they may be over your head. If they're not, great. Uh, for those of you that have watched my videos and have ebook one, then you understand what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't and are confused, go to yourguitarstage.com, get ebook one, and it will help a ton with this, okay? Okay, so um, here we go. I don't know the lyrics either, so I'll probably hem and haw through it and um, do my own little bit. Oh, hey, Choopy, how are you? Oh, oh, that's a good cat. Um, this is Choopy. If you haven't met her already, she visits me for many of my guitar lessons, and she's a terrible cat, as you can see. Okay, so here we go. It goes. I'll go over the strumming and the chords with you. Stop there. That was the verse and the chorus. The bridge, um, the bridge, let's talk about the bridge. Well, no, let's wait on the bridge. <clears throat> verse, chords, R. The song's in four, by the way. Oh, we're capo to the, at the third fret, right? Song's in four, like one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so each one of those are a bar, and typically we name the, the chords, each bar has a chord or each chord has a bar. Uh, except when we have split measures, again, I'm throwing out some stuff you may or may not know. Split measures are when we split a measure in two by two chords. So two chords share a measure, and there are some of those. Okay, so here we go. So A minor, three, four, A minor, C, G, D minor, except the last chord. So it's A minor, C, G, F. Now here's where our split measures happen. We have D minor F, D minor F, A minor G, D minor F, G sus, G. And that's G sus, not Jesus. I love Jesus, but it's a G sus chord. Okay. And the chorus is C, G, A minor, split measure F, F minor. these individual chords with you, by the way. Okay, so, um, and we'll, we'll go over the strumming too. Um, we'll, we'll try to, we'll attempt to. Okay, so, you know A, C, G, you know all those basic chords, right? A G sus, you may not know, uh, it's real easy. It's G sus, or G suspended, not sustained, suspended. It has a suspended note in it, which means typically the four or the 11 of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, 
one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it goes, so you hit a regular G chord. You can hit it like this if you want. And if you have a f sixth finger that sticks out here, then you can grab it. Yeah, exactly, I don't either. So you wanna grab this chord, that version, the one that you hate, and then put your first finger right here. Hendrix right there. A little note right there, suspend it, or let it resolve. So Okay, now let's talk about that F and F minor chord, the F and F chord as I call it. So C, G, A minor, F. However you want to play your F is fine. Some people play baby Fs like this and like this. Ah, oh, baby F. But nonetheless, you need to make it minor afterwards. What's the note that we need to make minor, Eric? Thank you for asking. Here's the F chord. And F minor is the same exact chord except this guy right here gets flattened to that. So uh, it's the third string, it goes from the second fret to the first fret. If we have the capo on, we're acting like this is the nut, right? So two to one. And so whatever chord you're holding, if you're holding this one, that would sound nice. Or if you're holding this one, or this one, or this one. All F to F minor, okay? So you can also think about the E minor chord here. If your first finger was up here and you slid it up, then you have an F minor chord. Covered in my free chord vocabulary bit at yourguitarsage.com, go get it. I study on bar chords as well, which is in one of the eBooks, one or two, I think two. Check it out, You'll, it'll tell you. Okay, so, um, so F, F minor, good. Okay, and then we have, okay, so at, at this bridge, it goes B, uh, A minor. Okay, this one's a little bit funky here, the chords in here. An E major with an A flat in the bass. Okay, so play E major. The A flat is right here. So what I like to do is I like to grab this bottom part of the E, from the fourth string down, and I like to take my pinky, grab this guy, and I grab that chord. So. You know this bridge. When she's going crazy. I'm gonna kick your butt, boy. You broke my heart. Something like that. I don't know the lyrics, but something like that. Like that, I don't know. But those are the chords, and they're getting crazy. And then an F, and then a big fat E. Who do you think you are? Okay, so then it goes into the nice part there. Um, so, bridge is A minor. Next chord is an E slash A flat. You don't have to know the, tech, the technical part of this, just know it's an E chord. But it doesn't have an E in the bass, it has an A flat in the bass. I'm sorry, that guy right there. So play your regular E chord. I forgo this and I just play that part of the chord. Put this guy up here. Oh, and I let this pinky mute the fifth string too. Let it mute that so it sounds nice. Okay, the next chord is a C slash G. That means a C chord, and the G and the slash G means a G in the bass. So sounds nice, right? Instead of C, got that. Then a D slash F sharp. I bring my thumb around and I grab that F sharp like that. And then an F chord. And then an E major. Alright. Uh, so the strumming rhythm, oh, but the end of the song. It retards in the end, not retards, retards. It means slow down, okay? All right, so um, what else? 
strumming rhythm. I'm not explaining that one, sorry. Check out ebook one though where I do explain a lot of strumming rhythms and if you understand how a song sounds, like I mean if you hear a song, you can come up with your own strumming rhythms. I didn't get this strumming rhythm off of anything other than just listening to the song. People say, where do you get the chords and where do you get your strumming rhythm? And they talk like that every time, don't know why. Um, but um, I listen to the song and I come up with it myself. For those of you that are more in tune with music, you've played it longer and stuff, you get what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't, just keep immersing yourself in the music and it will come to you 100% of the time if you practice, okay? So keep up with it. If you haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com, get the ebook, hit subscribe, and eat your veggies. Your Guitar Sage. Bye-bye.